I wouldn't say that we've had the wool pulled over our eyes, we pull it over our own eyes. We either have to drastically change the way we build buildings, the physical buildings have to change, and the whole structure of our industry has to change, which is the harder part. And if that isn't done, the only alternative is to shoot the people who are living on top of the sand that our oil is underneath. It is indeed possible that we can, in fact, uh, turn our energy permit upside down. Right now the big base is coal and oil and gas, and renewables are really just the tiny little tip. We can uh, do it exactly the other way around, coal, tiny little tip, and then renewables, and uh, above renewables even conservation. And this is where the buildings come in. As architects, we grew up and were trained with the idea that form follows function. And there was a direct relationship between how the building looked and what it was intended to do. In addition to function, there is a relationship between form and energy. Because our lifestyle, our entire civilization, at the moment is based not on manpower, not on animal power, Energy. but based on oil power. Strong communities. What distinguishes the 21st century security house from our point of view is not the style, not what it looks like from the outside, but rather how it functions. These three buildings, each of them are very much part of their time. A holistic approach to building can actually create something that's safer, healthier, more energy efficient, and more durable. I, I feel like we're on a dawn of maybe through passive house construction to see a simplification of what houses are.